नमस्ते दोस्तों वेलकम टू डिफेंस एंड सेफ्टी इंजीनियरिंग योर सोर्स फॉर डीप इन साइट इन टू मिलिट्री टेक्नोलॉजी स्ट्रेटेजी एंड द वेपन दैट शेप आवर वर्ल्ड इन द स्कोचिंग सैंस ऑफ पोखरन इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट इंडिया शुक द वर्ल्ड इंडिया पोखरान टू टेस्ट डिड नॉट जस्ट प्रूव न्यूक्लियर केपेबिलिटी दे मार्क द लीप इन टू थर्मो न्यूक्लियर वेपन टेरेटोरी ए लीप फार बी ऑन पाकिस्तान फिशन बेस्ड आर्सनो But what makes thermonuclear bomb so much more lethal and how do the two countries truly compare let's break it down On May 11th and 13th 1998 India conducted five underground nuclear tests under extreme secrecy codenamed Operation Shakti Shakti 1 a thermonuclear or hydrogen bomb with a claimed yield of 43 kilotons Shakti 2 a fission or atomic bomb with a claimed yield of 12 kilotons Shakti 3 a subkiloton fission device with a yield of 0.2 kilotons On May 13th, two more subkiloton fission devices with yields of 0.5 kilotons and 0.3 kilotons. Before India, only Russia and the United States had successfully tested thermonuclear devices, making India the third nation to achieve this milestone. Fission bombs split heavy atoms like uranium-235 or plutonium-239, releasing energy in the tens of kilotons range. Thermonuclear bombs combine fission and fusion. The first stage triggers extreme heat and pressure, fusing hydrogen isotopes and unleashing energy hundreds of times greater in the hundreds of kilotons to megatons. If a fission bomb is a city destroyer like a grenade, a thermonuclear bomb is a region eraser, more like a volcano. After India's first test in 1974, Pakistan accelerated its own nuclear program, focusing mainly on uranium-based fission devices. In response to Pokhran 2, Pakistan tested 6 fission bombs at Chagai in May 1998 with yields estimated at 5 to 40 kilotons. They were, you know, pretty powerful, but none of them approached thermonuclear destructive potential. India's fuel base includes plutonium from Cyrus and Dhruva reactors, plus enriched uranium from its centrifuge program. On the other hand, Pakistan's fuel base relies mostly on highly enriched uranium from Kahuta, with only limited plutonium coming from Kushab reactors. When it comes to destructive scale, India's thermonuclear weapons can produce blast waves, heat and radiation capable of erasing entire metropolitan areas with yields that are honestly scalable into the megaton range. Pakistan's tested devices remain limited to just tens of kilotons, enough to devastate a city but not really able to match the area-wide annihilation potential of thermonuclear weapons. So, India's arsenal isn't just more advanced, it is vastly more lethal and destructive. In South Asia's nuclear balance Pakistan actually has a large number of assembled warheads relative to its size and focuses a lot on short-range tactical nukes but India's tested thermonuclear capability delivery range and destructive potential make it without a doubt the undisputed heavyweight in terms of firepower In the nuclear chessboard of South Asia the true power lies not just in numbers but in destructive potential and in that game India's edge is clear This is defense and safety engineering bringing you the truth behind the headlines If you found this breakdown valuable, hit like, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you never miss our next deep dive.